some pieces when they're fired, either they need to be supported because of particular shape, or in this case it fits on very high legs, almost like stilts. Also, this piece has to be fired upside down, with the legs facing up, because it has what I call an open gallery, not actually flat. If you try to fire it upside down, the warpage of the bowl itself. So for each one, I had to make a third piece. There's a bottom, the top, the third bowl. What I went through was just a plain bowl, and that was the support bowl. And the base, which you see me turn up here, actually go flat upside down. side and most potters don't like to fuss a lot with their handles when they put them on uh, they kind of like that look of just the sort of natural look of having it just smeared off uh, I tend to spend a lot more time molding them in I just uh, I just prefer that look and when you do it that way it does take a lot more work because you don't realize that you're actually putting more clay on there just enough so that it actually is noticeable where you put it on. So it takes a lot of blending and I generally like to do that with a little bit of slip from the actual clay body that I threw. And then sponging it down. I try to use slip every time I'm doing this mainly because if you just do the, all that by sponging you're actually going to remove a lot of the fine clay and leave the grog. Most of the time that doesn't matter to me because I do a lot of slip and globing or I actually take the whole piece and put a, a slip on it to make it fine because uh, to make it a fine texture because my clay does have a lot of grog in it and all of my clay has a small amount of paper fiber 
So it is a little bit more of a coarse surface, I think that's fine. like this that have anything attached like a handle or another piece I let them set for usually a day and then because I have paper fiber in, I can put it right in my drying oven just an electric oven and I heat it up to about 140 160 degrees it really depends on the piece and give it about maybe six eight hours and then after that it's ready to fire so even a piece that's very thick because the fire is two days later it's ready to go into the kiln